Hard drive up and running? Oh, I've got everything up and running. I don't know what happened last time. So, yeah, so this is, hi everyone. There's a question, is blah blah. Anyway, uh, last time we, um, we, uh, we, 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 we spent good intro. Yeah, that's my intro. We spent that like 40, we spent, <laughs> we spent <laughs> totally sufficient. Shut up. Uh, so we spent 45 minutes answering questions and then I lost it all. So, sorry. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we waited a couple of weeks so we could all forget and all the qu- answers to all the questions would slip out of the holes in our brains. And, you know, uh, we didn't probably have to wait that long. It could have been like a day later. I don't know. You've got a mind like a steel <laughs> We'd trap. We'd have all I'm, forgotten. I'm sure you remember all your names word for word, all your answers word for word, don't you? I don't even remember what we asked. Okay, perfect. Well. I remember making fun of Drew. Yeah, well, that'll happen Where, again. Is that different? Yeah. That's new and That's unique. every night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, where's question number one? Let's get going here. Let's get, well, let's get knock that one out. Uh, why do you always pick on Drew? Oh. Why not? Uh, He's an easy target. Why not? You're it's, the, it's, kind of, it's, <laughs> it's just kind of the natural order of things. We've been picking on Drew for years now. <laughs> and well, he takes he it so well. And then it just... You know, yeah, yeah, he t- he takes it fairly well and in good humor, which is you can is, tell he's really used to it. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not unique to you, bastards. He just shrugs. His he wife and, his wife and children make fun of him a lot too. He just mutes it and cries, so we don't actually know that's happening. So <laughs> that's it. Then he forgets to unmute it, and that's why he forgets. Hey, that's making sense now. <laughs> Where did Drew go? Hey, he is muted. He's crying. All right, next question. Yeah. If your house was on fire and you could only save one thing, what would it be? God. Probably, probably my, my hand lotion collection. <laughs> my two socks. <laughs> Which I use for legitimate reasons. <laughs> well, but, but you can't just get it at Walgreens? Well, I have some very exotic hand lotions in my collection. <laughs> Fine Moroccan hand lotion. That's, that's good. Wow. Um, I, I, the, my children would probably be the easy answer. Yeah, uh, things, but now that I have, I, I have to say the kid. Yeah. Damn it. Oh come on, they're, come they're on. Not really things though. No, yeah. no living things. No they, living. They do things. move how, on their own. You how know? dare? How dare you quantify your children as things, you assholes? Yeah. It's, until what they can. Uh, possession that you have. Until they can wipe their own ass, they are a thing. All right, let's go around the table. <laughs> Shale, Shale, what would you bring out of your burning house? Um, I would probably just, fuck, I don't know. My Aquaria, what would you get out of your burning like, house? I would probably just grab my laptop because it's right there and it's just easy. And it has Shit, I just of, fucking run. It's a fire, man. Uh, fair, <laughs> fair, fair. That's a fair point. I could yeah. steal everything I need. I, I would, boxers. I would, it, my serious answer is I would take the front doorknob so no one could, no one else could get out. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say underwear, <laughs> too. But... There with the drill. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Changing my locks. Go bed. <laughs> Does anyone else have an entertaining and or serious answer, or should we just move on? I, w- I would I would probably grab the uh, wedding album, because that would like score me major points. Major points. Yeah, you should have your wife you watch this watch video. His house burn. You know, I mean, you all, can... all my pictures are backed up on oh, a different okay. location, so it wouldn't really mean anything to grab it except for... Well, except that you know your, your your mind went blank and all thought fled and and uh, the only thing that, that occurred to you was to grab your wedding album, which would score yeah. Don't you. worry about your wife. Just would, the album. It would score you <laughs> enormous that, points. Exactly. Well, they uh, said they they sent me a message that said I should reset my uh, modem, so I did that earlier, anticipating that that would fix the problem, and clearly it didn't do shit. So perfect. So, yeah. so, what would you take out of your burning house? Maybe your modem? Yeah, well, I gotta <laughs> save that modem. It works so well. <laughs> well, if I didn't have underwear on, I would definitely save some underwear. So, shit, no, yeah. I let that sucker fly. <laughs> <laughs> Going yep. commando due to the house burning down. All right, next question. It's it's probably important you at least throw the underwear out of the house so it doesn't add to the fire and hide your porn <laughs> collection. That's the no, internet. it's going up in flames. You're good. You don't need a porn buddy for that. That's why I said I'd take my laptop. Uh, okay, fair point. Yeah, I guess I, when I said hide, I meant like put it on top of the bed where it's sure to burn. Why would you well. take your laptop? 
because it's got important. I don't know. <laughs> it so has important porn, documents, documents. so he could connect to his neighbor's Wi-Fi and look at porn <laughs> while the firefighters put out the fire. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Next question. Come on. Come on. Keep it moving. Well, this is one of my favorite ones directly for Mac. Um, Mac, would you like to go on a date? Yes, um, I would. Yes. Do you have any children? No, I don't. Would you like to? That he knows. That he knows of. That I know of. <laughs> would you like some? <laughs> would you like some? <laughs> are, like, are, they, are they offering to give you theirs? Or? Are, 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 are any of you offering? Or, I mean, I, I'd make a totally mm -hmm. awesome dad. I am not offering. Oh. Well, thanks. No, I don't have kids. And, uh, yeah, I think we answered all those questions. <laughs> yeah, well, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> he really wants awesome. to from this. Hey, they were yes or no questions. What do you want from me? I, <laughs> I, I, I ate my last three children, so no, I don't have any left. Uh, I, I, I would like a date because I, I need another woman to help me propagate my uh, my species, so I have more to eat. And oh uh, I forget the third question. It couldn't have been important. <laughs> it wasn't really. Well, this is one of the most common questions. Um, will the grind ever return? No. Do not Next hold your question. breath. Yeah, you know what? Okay, so so I could give a, a far-ranging answer to this that brings in all the touchy-feely shit from our wonderful days playing World of Warcraft and moving on toward the creation of our guild and the films and the winning contests and all the wonderful... All the wonderful warm fuzzies I get when I think about all that shit and all the great stuff all you guys have done for us over the years and all the huge ego boosts we've all gotten, but I won't do that. I'm just going to say fuck you and we're not going to make another episode of The Grind. It's way too much work. <laughs> but that's, yeah, you heard it here. It's over. <laughs> yes. It's, 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 it, we, you heard it from Mac. Fuck you. That's right. We've all, we've all moved our separate ways and it's impossible to get us together for even a 45 minute Q&A session, let alone eight hours of capping in, in World of Warcraft. So sorry, and, but it's really, really it, like fantastically unlikely. So the follow up to that of would you consider making something similar to the grind in a different game is probably going to be a no to then? No, you know what? Actually, we have uh, made a, a little tiny bit of progress on uh, Minecraft Machinima. Um, and when I say a little tiny bit of progress, I mean we recorded a bunch of dialogue two years ago, and I sat on my lazy ass. But uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm fun to record, man. It was a lot of fun to record. But so so I've got a uh, I've got uh, some new tools out there that hey we could use to make sets and stuff for Minecraft, and we should really get some talks going about that, guys. So you guys can help mm -hmm. out, um, and we could maybe make some progress because I like making machinima. It's just wow is kind of a tough one. Yeah, frankly, Mac would probably die if uh, he had to film us again. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. More, 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 more. Why? We're so easy to work with. I, mean, I don't know why it's such a problem. <laughs> we do take instruction pretty well. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Sell for two! Get back over here! <laughs> Stop jumping! Fucking no! Left. Fucking no, down. not you. I could have aneurysm. No, you on right, the left! That's what would happen. We'd be working and all of a sudden we'd just hear this thud and then he wouldn't be there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have all the uh, sound files from that? Because I realized that that was one of the things I did not save when yeah, I yeah, wiped well, out my computer. I have absolutely everything that we recorded, yeah. It's all oh, there. fantastic. Speaking of which, yeah, we had this conversation the last time, but we'll have it again for posterity. Deso, your audio. Yes, sir. We're, I'm probably going to need you to re-record it. Or I could subtitle it because you went full retard. Yeah, you never go full retard. Hey, full I, retard. I think it would be funnier if you subtitled it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I like the idea of not using subtitles and just <laughs> let it go. If people can't understand it, fuck it. <laughs> just, just, yeah, and then they'll yeah. all talk about, no, he said this, no, he said that. Let, let, let those lines be obscured by, uh, how, how can I state this charitably? That's right, just make it so the characters understand him. That's fine. <laughs> And everyone understands what? just fine. All right. Well, what, what, so yeah. what the fuck was the question? Are we ever gonna? Yeah, Minecraft. And as for filming you guys, it, it wouldn't be such a big deal in Minecraft because we could we could just you know flip skins on and off and and uh, that sounded really sexy. True. Flip skins on and off. <laughs> really we did. Could, we could any three people could play any three characters, so it wouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. All right. So next question. We get we get so much more done if we were around each other. Like when we all did the audio for that, it was a lot of fun, easy to get together, and it was done in a long night, but a night. It so sucks that we're so, all on different sides of the freaking yeah, country. So, so what you're saying is I need to 
move back to the Midwest. That's Yep, that's you need to find a job doing stuff that you're <laughs> well, never going to find in the Midwest. Or we all need to move to California. That's hey, a better idea. Yeah, there go. Oh, there you or go. someone needs Much to hire us to make machinima. Yeah, Anybody that would work too. Yeah. Anybody? Yeah. yeah. For any well, let's get this Minecraft thing you know. done and Notch will throw cash at us. It'll be great. <clears throat> yeah. 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 $150,000 a year to uh, to make a Minecraft machinima. Okay, so. Three episodes a year. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a pretty reasonable rate for me. Yeah, I think so. Well, here's a very simple question. Uh, would you bang Betty White? Fuck yeah. Can I rewind time at all? I mean, she's an awesome lady, but. <laughs> you know, I uh, guess you can leave it open for interpretation, but. Mac, Mac. It's sex. <laughs> is it though? Yeah, 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 did yeah. you misunderstand that question? Because that's what I got from it. At a certain point, I mean, you're humping a dry wall, and it's uh, it's it's. Is, hey, is hey that... Mac, it's sex. I, are you are you sure it wouldn't be like peeling apart a grilled cheese sandwich? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Jeez, a wow. dry, moldy grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, I just threw up in my mouth a little. I threw up it, outside my mouth a little. That's why they make my egg. <laughs> <laughs> What is I don't think that prevents the throwing up. Uh, have we covered the Betty White question now? Uh, I think that was pretty thorough. Next yeah. question. Does Ikoria cross-dress and work at Starbucks? Ikoria? Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, sure. Doing that. In yeah, that I'll order. try anything twice. Because <laughs> the first time you, you might have just... The first time you never know if you're doing it right. You, you so might then been... you need the second time to make sure... Yep, yeah, see? It's, it's a much more. In Starbucks, no, I couldn't work there. I, I would kill someone seriously. Ugh. I have a friend who works at Starbucks, and he flips out anytime anyone orders a frappuccino. I don't know what the fuck his problem is, but he just can't. Handle it. <laughs> He's kind of working at the wrong place. Yeah. I, have, yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of friends that work at Starbucks, but sh I people like no, I couldn't. I would. Like, shouldn't he be working at like Seattle's Best or something? Then they don't have frappuccinos there. Yeah, perfect. You guys know this? <laughs> they what? don't have frappe. What? Whatever. Huh? They don't have frappuccinos at Seattle's Best. How is this a difficult concept? How do you know this? this? Because I've been to Seattle's Best. Because the frappuccino is a bullshit Starbucks concoction. Yeah. It's I not mean, a real word. Actually, you know, it, actually, the guy that made the frappuccino and sold the whole idea to Starbucks thinks current coffee people are just uptight pricks that are ruining coffee. Mm. Why do you know so much about frappuccinos? I, I forgot an <laughs> article. <laughs> are you the guy? It was a pop up on one of his porn sites. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's a fair That's question. Why, why, why do you know so much about Frappuccino? I don't know. I saw an article on something <laughs> once about it. But I'm a font of useless knowledge. It was Riverdinger. Right. Very. <laughs> okay. So, no and yes. Or wait, yes and no. No, no sure and no. Possibly, and we'll see. Yeah, it depends. Whatever. Enough alcohol and the right music. Anything's possible. Anything is possible. <laughs> Next question. Well, speaking of alcohol, we've got one here that is, uh, what is everyone's favorite alcoholic beverage of choice? Scotch. Oh, I could be all scotch, but really it's a mojito. I don't drink hmm. alcohol. That's right. Let's That's get that. Right. Let's get. Let's get that on record. Let's say that again, yeah. Shale. Nice and loud, loud and proud. I never had a drop of alcohol in my life. And how do you feel about marijuana, my friend? I. I don't smoke it, but I don't care if other people smoke it. Oh, all right. Well, you don't care if people drink either. Well, right, yeah. I, I just don't do any of that stuff. But, yeah, I don't care if other people do. Best friend ever to Best have. Those are like, yeah, it's, he's like a built-in designated driver. It's oh, terrific. it's awesome. Yeah, uh -huh. That's really the only reason we keep him around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I'm doing that. laughs> hey, let's go out for pizza and beer and bring shale. Oh, yeah. Oh, shale. <laughs> yeah, come get us. Okay. Oh. Norlin, what, what do you got? Um, I guess I like wine. My favorite wine is Riesling. Mm, white wine, right? Yeah. I don't sweet it's a pretty, pretty wine. sweet. Yeah, yeah. I, I, sweet Popular wine with the chicks. Sugar yeah, I, I can't do sweet wine. So he's I, not a real wine drinker. Well, no, I, I, apparently I, not. I prefer I prefer a nice red, you know, Merlot, Shiraz. Yeah. My wife is a three buck Chuck Cabernet Sauvignon Ooh. right now. Sauvignon. Yeah, I love I love two buck Chuck. Yeah, I'm also drinking a Jameson and Pepsi. Nice. What at the same time as the wine? Um, I'm I'm gonna finish the Jameson first, but I just took a sip of the wine as well, so I wasn't that, lying. That is so gross. That's right. really kind of weird. Wow. 
I would it's be definitely a weird combo. Right now, I had well, I, did, I knew I was going to be chained to the desk here for like an hour. Yeah, I needed two drinks. Drew, what do you drink? Uh, I I, 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 obvious, I obviously do. <laughs> yeah, nice. I obviously do like beer since I make it as well. But I uh, when it's I'm, not exploding I'm, all over the ceiling. I'm I'm a I'm a rum and whiskey guy. At the same time. No, <laughs> not if I can help it. Call it risky. <laughs> risky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that. That's good. What about you, Desso? I'm a vodka drinker, actually. Vodka martini or just like a straight fucking vodka? Put vodka in it. It's going down. That's all I'm saying. Wow. <laughs> like wow. vodka and milk? Sure. <laughs> sure. That's a white Russian. There's nothing wrong with that. It's one way to do it. Wow. Okay, w- when I was 19, I invented a drink. It was vodka and yoje. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. Did you Sounds drink like it drink often, or is it just something you tried? That, that's, that, nope. that smacks of college student experimenting with what's available in his kitchen. I was going to say, drink of circumstance right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, called it, we called it Aqua Vita, the water of life. <laughs> 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 Moving on. It's like making my instant potatoes out of water because we ran out of everything else in the whole <laughs> What's wrong like, with well, instant potatoes? Made of, instant what, potatoes. Like, hold on, oh, what, what, what do you normally make your instant potatoes out of? Fucking okay. breast milk from a virgin? Or? <laughs> I, I don't know. We never even opened the box. because I think it was from like years before. It just kept moving with us to each apartment, and we Fan. totally ran out. So we made instant potatoes with water, and we opened up a thing of baked beans and heated it up and then just put it together on a plate, stirred it up, and ate it. Oh, I'm sorry oh. you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know My that about you. Is lack it was so nasty. So a lot of times he'll eat cereal with water. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, Just don't on. eat cereal. Yeah, well, it's he terrible. likes You get all the sog like, and none of the milk. Yeah, right? Oh, I don't know. It's just, or sometimes he'll, he'll just pour syrup on him, too. Oh. And oh. That's your, <laughs> with a lot of syrup. Oh. So how long has he been diabetic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was when I was six fucking years old, my mom let me make my own sandwich, and I made a jelly and sugar sandwich. That was, oh, and, and I only shit. did that fucking once. I used to make oh, super sandwiches. We had peanut butter, jelly, and mayonnaise. Oh, oh, oh. My sister Damn. and I would eat those. Oh. Well, it wasn't mayonnaise; it was Miracle Whip. But oh well, oh, that's better than worse. Well, then it's fine. That's, that's reasonable. Oh. <laughs> Next fucking question. I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Super sandwiches, they were awesome. Well, here's a couple of them about uh, you guys as a group in general. Have you ever thought about doing reviews of games or anything else? Uh, no. I can't imagine us actually trying to like seriously review something. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, just we, we You know what? If you if you want to hear us ser- being serious, go find Inside Wow, the first episode of Inside Wow, and it sucked. It was awful. We oh. we're, we're we're better at fucking around. Totally. Well, have you ever thought about fucking around on a live stream then? Uh, yeah. Well, sort of. I mean, we don't we don't keep a regular enough schedule, and it's not you know we don't play all week. Like, you could set a date and do it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, I, don't, th- I, I, I don't think you're funny enough to, to, to carry us for ten minutes, Aquaria. I don't think so. Oh, burn! Ooh. Wow. All right, I'll nope. take that. Nope. As it is, <laughs> you'd show up and your mic wouldn't work or something, or lose your audience. <laughs> And the streamers would be sitting there going, "What's going on here? I don't, I don't understand." <laughs> and you'd forget, and you'd forget to turn it off, and then watch some porn. And is, is this an art project? <laughs> forget to <laughs> shut why, it off. Why, why am I? It why do I? <laughs> with the webcam on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'd be like that that huge fat guy who was masturbating around his gut, and he had his like fists turned the wrong way from like how you normally jerk off because he couldn't reach his dick any other way. <laughs> Oh, that was the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. Now I've got that in my head, and I'm going to go to sleep with that tonight. Thanks. And now it's in our heads, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, pal. I had ever it's heard not of in that, my head, because I can't figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, imagine, imagine reaching around an immense gut. No, thanks. Okay? No, I'm just not going to Hold on, give me a sec. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Next question. Now, now, now try... <laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay, now what am I supposed to... I mean, now what happened? <laughs> Uh, all right, this is important. So, Desor, are you ever going to make it to play with us on Sunday nights? Well, you know, Sunday nights is the tough one for me because that's usually when I have movie night with my wife. Ooh, yeah. She can come. Sure. Yeah. 
Well, you know, when she plays video games, we've got to have the radio on and as much noise as possible in the room. I, in fact, had to shut her out of the office right now. So, seriously, <laughs> does she do a lot of yelling? <laughs> a lot of loud music. <sighs> oh, guys, I got a terrible, de- depressing message from Ninny. He's not going to be here tonight. In case you were Aww. wondering. Oh. Okay. Next question. Next question. Why does Norlin make me laugh so much? Norlin, awesome. why, why do you do that, Norlin? What, what the fuck? Um, what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just say whatever funny things come to my you're mind. Like, you're the fucking funny one, man. And when you're not there for the night, it's it gets pretty sedate. So I'm good at responding to things other people say with funny comments. I'm not good at being funny myself. Oh, so you're an asshole. So yeah, you should tell a joke. Tell a joke. Tell a joke. Do it now! I forgot my joke. Um, oh, no. I forgot oh. my joke. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Is that one joke? That's my one favorite the joke. one how thing. About, that how many surrealists does it take to screw in a light bulb? Oh, that's a good one. I don't know. I don't know how many. Uh, two. One to hold the giraffe and one to put the light bulb <laughs> or the box <laughs> in the bathtub. Oh, uh, you fucked it up and then it was <laughs> funny <laughs> anyway. You one. You had one joke. And you, I know. <laughs> Uh, one to one to hold the giraffe and the other to put the light to put the clocks, the clocks in the tub. In the bathroom, Is that, okay, yes. yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay, next question. Well, how about the uh, all too common question of Did you guys know each other before Warcraft? And if so, when did you guys meet? Drew, you're good at, at elaborating on historical events. Why don't you? Oh, okay, while? sure. Let's talk to our historian, Drew. I need I need I need, <laughs> I need to go jerk off in the bathroom for a minute. So uh, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, I, I might be wrong on this, but uh, uh, Mac, Eck, and uh, Shale all grew up and in no the one. same. Oh, er, oh and, no, no. 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 No, 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 right? Just the three of you all grew up together, right? I thought you were talking about the Alliance Frontier Guard. I'll shut up now. Oh, keep going. Do you want to talk? Like, are we talking real? No, life? no, we're real life, game? real life. Totally important, real life. Yeah. Go ahead. Christ. All right. So anyway, yeah, the three of you guys grew up together, and you went to college, True. and you went to college with Nor. Uh, Mac went to college with Norland. Yep. Uh, Eck went to college with a bunch of gay men and women. Uh, <laughs> um, is, he was a theater major, right? So I guess that's a... Yes. Oh. Yeah, no, that's, yes. That's accurate. Yes. So then Mac got a job. He met Liuv at his job. Uh, Mac got canned from job and moved away. Uh, <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, then through WoW... You guys that all knew each other in real life met me and uh, Justin, who Justin, I'm, er, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, Deso, Who's sorry, Justin? sorry, Deso. <laughs> so Deso and I met through WoW and uh, found out that we lived about 15 miles apart. So we uh, have now hung out in real life, and uh, that's how we all met through WoW. So through WoW, that. there you go. No, we didn't really know each other before WoW. At least not all of us. Well, yeah, five of you did. <laughs> Well, the, yeah. the special ones oh, were added sorry, in later. And Ninny, Ninny also knew you guys from back then because you guys all went to that gay camp together. Yep, there was the gay camp where I learned to be gay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, you were a counselor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question. Yeah, Eck was a lumberjack before he went to that camp. <laughs> now, I'm okay. <laughs> 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 So, um, <laughs> since we're leading into it, um, gays. Well, I was gonna go more more with the wow question here. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, what was Drew like as a uh, raid leader? Horrible. Two words. Drunk. Laminated map. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to tell the story was... about the map? It better not be it's Drewby because he's gonna try and make himself look better. <laughs> no, it's you not should. possible. Let him. So Drewby, so Drewby, somebody tells Drewby, "Hey man, we we we're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. We need someone to re- re- lead the raid, and uh, oh, you're you're all that's left. So could could you handle this for us?" And Drewby said, "Right on it, sir. I'll be the best raid leader you've ever seen." And he uh, and he and he did all kinds of research, and he printed out a giant map, and he took it to Kinko's, where he tried to hit on the girl behind the counter. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, I didn't. And and she said, <laughs> "Oh, you're pretty ugly. Uh, what what do you got going on?" And she and and he said, "Oh, I'm uh, leading a raid tonight in my WoW guild, and and I'm uh, printing a map." And she said, "Oh, that sounds awful." And he said, "Yeah, here, you want to see it?" And he showed it to her, and she said, "This is the worst thing, most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my oh, life." Oh God. And he said, "Would you like to go out on a date with me? I'm married, but it's totally normal. We're, we're we got this open relationship thing going on." And she's like, "I don't believe you." And he's like, "Oh, okay. Well, I'll talk to you later then." She's like, "No, you won't." And he went home with his newly laminated map and he drew on it with markers for three hours and uh, and the raid probably wiped on fucking Lucifron. <laughs> okay. That's accurate. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the part of him passing out drunk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, so he's leading a raid and then he drinks 18 bottles of vodka and... Uh... <laughs> uh, anything you want to add to the story, Drew? No, that's that summed it up pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I won't vouch for my own accuracy. That's probably well, to best. be fair, he was a pretty easy going great leader. Like we definitely had some that were, you know, oh god, Hitler-ish. We had some Hitler-ish hard asses. And then that, was, well, that's when you made the video of us just sitting. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I forgot us about just, that. Oh, like you were dancing in it. He was sitting. No, he was sitting. We were. Da- I saw him yeah, we dancing, dancing in a corner while yeah. we were while we were doing a boss and like the second boss. I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, shh. Mm. So I didn't <laughs> <run back. laughs> Extreme. <laughs> Extreme Sitting was the sequel to the dancing That's one. Right, yes, and it was, and it was, and it was the worst boss I could possibly have been sitting on. It was Major Domo Executus, where the mages have all got extremely important jobs to do, and there I am sitting on my ass <laughs> while things are exploding around me. You know, I, w- I will say that looking back, you know, whenever I get nostalgic about WoW or like thinking I might want to play WoW again, it's Molten Core that makes me want to go back. Like if I could somehow go back to 40 man Molten Core with that group of people, I would do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. Oh, I had so much fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, yep. the first year and a half or so of playing that game was fun, like straight up fun. Mm-hmm. And and more so than than the game being fun, I just had fun with all of you guys and the oh, rest yeah, of the guild. You know, it's it wasn't about the outstanding game. I mean, maybe it was outstanding for an MMO. I really don't know, but uh, it was about the social stuff. And uh, and uh, for someone who doesn't ever get out of his apartment like me, it's nice to have some sort of a social outlet. You know, I, I'm I'm too hideous to to see the light of day, so I, I kind of have to interact <laughs> like this on the internet. <laughs> You're not, you're not that hideous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, as long as you put the eye patch on, it's not that bad. <laughs> as, as long as I wear my prosthetic penis and uh, the sunlight doesn't actually burn you, does it? <laughs> it, it may now. I haven't been outside in uh, three and a half months, so I uh, I really couldn't say. <laughs> and it's just awkward when you do go out and you have that umbrella. Oh God! Don't tell. <laughs> well, I I've replaced the umbrella. Now I wear uh, prescription sunblock. Um, it's uh, SPF 350. Is that the previously mentioned uh, hand lotion? No, no, no. It's different. It's It's got an aluminum base. It actually reflects light so brightly Ooh. that uh, I blind most people that look at me. <laughs> so you're like a vampire from Twilight. I twinkle. <laughs> well, since we've established he never has sex or goes outside, I don't <laughs> think he needs suntan on his face. <laughs> a suntan would be wasted on me. Hi. Uh, well, you know, he doesn't need the sunscreen on his penis, is what I'm saying, <laughs> much less <laughs> your body. Shall we move on? Next question. Sure. <laughs> well, we've got just a three or four questions about superheroes here, so let's knock those out. All right. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Visibility. Visibility? That's a pretty... Invisibility, you bitch! Oh, okay. <laughs> I will kill you until you're dead. You can <laughs> see me now. I want to be able to like see me really well. Talk about a terrible superpower. I mean, I'm, I know you're not super creative or anything, but <laughs> I don't know. After you've been invisible your whole life. <laughs> oh, that's that suddenly got really sad. <laughs> oh. like the thirteen-year-old emo girl who wants nothing more than to be visible. I just want to be loved. Is that so wrong? <laughs> Who else has one? Come on. I just want to be able to like, go through walls. 
Like the Flash. Shit, you can do that now. You get running like fast the, enough. Like yeah. the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, that was more like Macho Man Randy Savage. That's what I'd have to do too. Like, yeah, I I want to be able to go through walls and go, oh yeah. <laughs> That's it. Dane Cook wrecked that for me with his whole bit about. Oh, and where he's, oh no, don't oh, go no. wreck, don't be wrecking my walls. And then he goes off on huh? That was a good story. So what's your superpower, Drew? <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be lame and just say flight. That's a good one. I like Not flight. Bad. I spend enough time in airplanes that I just don't want to be anymore. <laughs> but you know how cold it is up there? You know what? If I can fly, fly I, well, okay, it, I, fuck you, I want to fly. Flying, <laughs> flying probably burns a lot of calories, so you'd be warm. Plus, you could fly at low altitude. Who's going to stop you? That's right. The birds! Ah, oh, good point. <laughs> that, yeah. That's got to hurt. They hate when you enter their domain. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie jealous. The Birds? That shit creeped me the fuck out. Birds jealously guarding the sky <laughs> from human intrusion. All right, Liu, what do you got? I think my superpower would be the ability to make a woman orgasm just by thinking about it. Oh, I thought you were going to stop after orgasm. <laughs> 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 I was just going to let you go with that because I thought that was awesome. Uh, the, the ability to find the clitoris. That's... I want the ability to have a woman orgasm. I mean, like, like right now, all your wives, they're orgasming because of me. Uh, right. That's going to be awkward because she's feeding the baby. I know, right? <laughs> It probably Norland, comes Norland. out like it squirts more when that happens. What's your super, super dress sense? Super dress sense. Okay. Desso? <coughs> Time travel. Time travel. See, now that shit makes sense. Oh. That's cool. And I would like the ability to make my farts smell like somebody else's farts. Oh. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> like That's... anyone in particular, or no? Just like in a, like in a. Think about it. You're in an like elevator. Like voice only throwing no, no, no. your farts. Yeah, ventrilo farting. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you, you you fart and and people smell it and they know it's someone else. Oh, so throwing your farts. You could just you could just fart all day long. No one would know it. Hey, maybe they're gonna place wrestling in the Olympics with that. Or you know what might be even better is is if I could make other people's farts smell like my farts, and then all farts would smell awesome to me. Hey. Imagine that farts don't phase you anymore. Yeah, I love the smell of farts. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> now we Next question. That. Oh wait, did we? Did, did we? Did we do well, we got logos? more coming from that uh, genre, especially since X said that he would pick invisible. Uh, where would you go and what would you do, Eck? Oh. God. First, well, that's obvious. After that, <laughs> hey, I, what else is there? Watching people change. You can get away with anything, man. You could people go like see what's behind the doors at the airport that they shoot you for if you like touch. Not women. Uh, people. I like that he didn't specify either. <laughs> well, people, no. people, kids, adults could be very elderly men. <laughs> You know. and of course, so you can watch. Just you can hang, hang out in the locker room at the YMCA. Yeah, you can just hang out there and see all the naked men you want. It's, yeah, and they, they like fucking stick their leg up on the bench and dry their balls very slowly while they're hanging out I in the middle think, of the room. Honestly, other than the obvious, you know, the the naked, but uh, fucking with people would be so much fun. Yeah. I just love screwing with people, and it would just be way too easy when you're invisible. So what you really want is to be a ghost. Uh, because if I have invisibility, I can like turn it on and turn it off. But once you're a ghost, you're, you're screwed. You're, you're a ghost. Okay. Well, well, what's yeah. the See, actual was... question? If you were invisible, where would you go? Is that is that the question? That that is the question. Yeah. Oh, all right. I okay. would I would I would go to like in the same vein. I was thinking this before you said it, but go to like psychics who claim that they can talk to dead people and <laughs> leave fuck with them. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. Oh man, they'd be pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine a sporting event? Oh, you could have so much fun. <laughs> if I were invisible, I'll tell you where I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go to work because they wouldn't even know I was there. I wouldn't get credit for it, so I'd, I'd probably stay home. Well, you can't because your CEO doesn't allow that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, you can't work from home. So. Not allowed to work from home anymore, so I guess I'm going to go into the office even though I'm fucking invisible and no one will know I'm there. Bitch. <laughs> <sighs> That's what <laughs> And to uh, shut down the superhero section of the day, what is the worst superpower you could have? Changing your fart smell. 
<laughs> no way. No. That's such a good one. Oh, my God. Um, uh, I'm going to go with Aquaman's whole talking yeah, whatever fish Aquaman thing. Oh, no, that was <laughs> awesome. Fuck you. Going underwater, you don't have to. You can't. You don't have to breathe. Right, you going, can underwater. Breathing and underwater. Then... Is, that's fantastic. Except Superman could do it without breathing underwater. He just holds his breath. Talking to fish is stupid. Dude, you, know you could like ride sharks and shit. He used to like ride on dolphins. <laughs> Again, if you're Superman, you don't need you to can't ride on dolphins. Shark. Superman can't talk to dolphins. Fuck you. He doesn't need to. He can. What if he did? Punch, huh? punch the dolphin dead. Aquaman to finds enough reason to need to talk to dolphins. That's because he doesn't have any other friends. Because he's lame. It's not like they have a fucking ring that turns him into a bucket of water. Ooh, that's dumb. Ooh, that, that would be dumb. a stupid thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, you know what? what? Talk to fish. Is water. Water. All right, you guys need to go look up Matter Eater Boy. He <laughs> I don't eats. think I need to. That's, that's, that's his power. He can eat anything. Okay. <laughs> yep. Does it taste oh, delicious no, to Matter him? Eater Lad. Oh, is it Lad? Matter Eater Lad? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, that could, in certain situations, be somewhat useful, I guess. Yeah, because like he but was. They, to well, they, they they had they had to come up with some pretty contrived shit for him to dig his way out, eat his way out of, literally. But, uh, he he joined the Legion of Superheroes shortly after Bouncing Boy, <laughs> <laughs> according I, to Wikipedia. I, I would like to change my answer to Bouncing Boy. <laughs> 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 oh God! If you go to the Bouncing Boy Wikipedia page, there's a picture of him. He's just a round fatty being bounced <laughs> along. <laughs> God, that sounds terrible. Like he doesn't actually bounce; they throw him. And he <laughs> that's that's already how I get it's to like work every day. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wow, that's a horrible. Anybody else have a good bad man. superpower? I think that one. No, that one yeah, wins. really. Yeah, that one's pretty good. <laughs> that one's pretty horrible. Okay, next question. Are there, are there any left? Oh, there you go. Oh, we got a lot of questions left. All right, keep it coming. Are Norlin and Liu of midgets in real life? Yes. One of us is. And no. <laughs> One of them is, yes. Yes. You have to guess. <laughs> Next. Next. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Will Liu ever use his deep voice modifier again? <laughs> no. Well, let's, let's hear you say something, Liu. Just turn on the old deep voice modifier. Yes. Uh, you can speak normally, and I can modify it afterward. You know, yeah, you I saw that coming, really. <laughs> Yes. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. <Yay. laughs> Just it's like all the time. <laughs> Should we tell him that you're actually always modulating my voice back up? Because it's so deep and very <laughs> that was, white. That section. was just my normal voice. Sure, we can tell him that. Hey, everyone. Uh, I actually For, I have forget to modify everything his you just voice. heard. I have to modify his voice uh, upward so that you can hear it in the audible human hearing range. Yeah, because he talks like elephants. He talks like elephants fart. It's it's incredible. Which smell like you now? I can make them smell like me if I want, sure. Oh, you can switch on and off. Oh, of course. Why would you ever shut it off? Why would you ever have a superpower you couldn't turn <laughs> off? What am I, matter eater lad? <laughs> Do we look like bouncing boy? <laughs> yeah, you think matter eater lad would eventually that? What do you eventually He can eat everything. He'll eventually be really fast. Let me push Shale and fast forward there. <laughs> Next question. Well, Mac, let's knock out a couple of these that everybody seems to want to know. What hardware and software do you use for editing and capturing? Uh, I use my computer. Uh, and <coughs> for software, Work. I used to use Fraps, and now I use DXTory. Um, and I use Adobe Premiere for editing. All right. And where the hell do you find all that different music? internet the internet yes that is <laughs> typically where i find my music no I, I i have a lot of friends with a lot of widely varied musical taste and they all introduce me to stuff and uh it's it's called discovery you should stop listening to the fucking radio and carly ray jepson or whoever the fuck her name is and uh listen to some real music for once you fucking assholes and the final direct question for mac uh Mac, do you know that right-clicking in Payday will allow you to... Fuck hate? you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck every single fucking one of you! <laughs> Next question! <laughs> Next question. Uh, what are your fetishes? Ooh. Hmm. Now we're all imagining our fetishes. <laughs> Hold on, I'm almost uh, done. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be 
me in my bunk. <laughs> I need to go get a towel. <laughs> my fetish is Olivia Wilde. Mm, Not a bad good. one. Agreed. That's I like one. corsets. Ah. Not on me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, I won't picture that anymore. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't like corsets on you either. That yep. was going to uh, be my fetish, but... What do you got, Liu? I have, I have troubles with this question because I feel like a fetish is something that you want that's, like, way out of left field and... <laughs> yeah, right, like Olivia Wilde. <laughs> yeah, okay, good point. I like the anal sex. Hey, there you go. I like having poop on my dick. Giving. I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anal sex I, saw, I saw a video today of a guy that was into getting his uh, cock burned with an iron. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. How do you even uh, find out that you okay, like that? Raise your hand if you didn't actually just flinch right there for a second. <laughs> oh, I didn't. But I would like to change my answer. <laughs> my fetish is Drewby having his cock burned by a hot iron. <laughs> While I'm wearing a corset? <laughs> While you're wearing a corset. While you're wearing your sexy pretty lady corset, yes. And taking anal sex. <laughs> oh. oh. Just an interesting See, thing. And now I'm picturing it. Oh, God. Please stop. Oh, As is everyone else listening to this right now. Don't oh, lie. God. Let's oh. see. We know, we know Norlin likes the car sex. Yep. Yes, yep. car sex. Well, why don't I we like, go there I, then? I, I, I uh, like, how much, I, I, how much I like, ass does everyone in Oblivious Films get? Oh boy. Ass? As much as I want. As there's I don't not, know. you know, ass. Ten. I don't know. Ten ass units. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, <laughs> Jesus, if Nor if Norland's getting ten ass, I'm probably only at like ten point well, eight I, ass. I get like three then. <laughs> <laughs> if this gets done soon enough, I'll probably get some tonight. Oh yeah, brag about your uh, your girlfriend over there who's all yeah. horny and ready for action there, Mister. Left uh, handy will still be there later. Yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my fetish is jerking off. That's my fetish. <laughs> uh, okay. I have two children. I never, ever have sex. <laughs> I have three children. I had sex yesterday. I fucking hate oh, you. Four is on the way. Well, yeah, but you just lock your kids in the house and go in the car. Uh, <laughs> and drive in front of Drew's house and have sex out there. It's easy this way, isn't it? Yeah. No, we got them all to take a nap at the same time. It never happens. It's called drugs. <laughs> Boy, that was that was one of my favorite bits. Um, Rodney Carrington used to do. He, he used to talk about when he had three kids. He they always had to have sex while the kids were watching TV. And now every time he hears the Barney theme song, he gets a raging heart on. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that would be probably annoying. I, I do too, but for different reasons. Yeah, it's like I do too, but I don't remember that. <laughs> okay, I next love question. you. Stop but, it. You know, if I knew that about somebody, <laughs> I would carry something around that would have that on it at all times. It would be on my cell phone all the time. You would get punched in the face the second yeah. time it happened. It'd be, it'd be worth it at least twice. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still on the ass question? Oh, so much ass? Holy shit, dude. Can't even describe it with human numbers, you know, that... <laughs> It's, it's, I'd, 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 need to go, I'd need to go outside the universe to describe to you how much infinite ass I get. So, next question. What was the uh, playthrough that you've done so far that you enjoyed the most? Uh, oh, I'm going with Tribes. I love Tribes. I'm going to say Killing Floor because I didn't play Tribes. You didn't play any Tribes? No. Oh, wow. What? You played that mostly last awesome. summer and I was just, I don't know, busy or something or Whatever that was, when my computer busy? wasn't working. My computer what? wasn't working well, or something. Okay, I don't know. Do Couldn't steal your neighbor's internet. Oh, no, no, it, yeah. it was like the, my laptop itself was overheating and shit, or something. I, whatever. I didn't play when you guys when you guys were doing that. I was I and you didn't have internet. No. Okay, Corey. What was your favorite game? I liked Killing Floor. That was because that freaked the shit out of me when we first started playing, and it was awesome. Well, yeah, that first night was probably the the best night I've had of of this stuff. But uh, yeah, that was awesome. Overall, the, the, my favorite game is Tribes. Uh, what about you, uh, Liuv? I would have to say Killing Floor. Holy it's, shit! It's, Three votes for Killing Floor? If I go by fa by the uh, hours played, it's Killing Floor by a mile. Oh, all right. Druby? Uh, I'm going to have I, I, kind of a tie between Minecraft and Terraria. You enjoy building things, which is ironic, I, given that you destroy I, it, everything you touch game. in real life. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> I just, I'll just hold to my map and remember the good times. 
<laughs> uh, Norlin. Um, that that quaffing game on Castle Crashers. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was so stupid. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> no, really, Deso, Deso, I, I'd say probably Terraria. Deso, have you watched any of our videos? I've seen all of them. Oh, all right. Well, which have you played many of those games, and which one do you like the best? It would have been probably, hilarious if you used a really creepy voice and said, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> oh, anyway. I've played probably about half of them. Uh, probably my favorite out of them would be Minecraft. I still play that occasionally, just for... Mindless entertainment, really. It's good for that. What else you got, I, man? Next crap, question. But it pisses me off when I have all my shit and then I die and lose it all, and I just can't handle that. I know. I get so yeah. pissed off. If there's a way to get it back, I would love it way more, but that ju- I just can't handle it. You, you should get everything enchanted, better. and oh, fuck that. <laughs> Actually, before you know, we move to the next question. Deso was, was kind of in the Minecraft stuff because he was playing on the same server that we shot all our stuff. So a lot of the things that were built on there that you were showing were his. He just wasn't Yeah, actually, he, he, built, he built the whole greenhouse and all the roads initially and, and then all like the Most of the farms. automated stuff, yeah. yeah. Or all of the automated stuff. That was all you, Deso. Hey, great job. Applause. Yay for me. <laughs> Pat on the back. <laughs> Thanks for the chicken eggs. Do you like to play tabletop games? If so, what is your favorite? Oh, Jesus. I do like tabletop games, but yeah. no one around my area plays them. So yeah. it doesn't, I mean, I'm just playing with myself, and then I might as well have my pants off. Hey, uh, I play. Well, so, but when you do have people together, what's your favorite to play? I like uh, Pandemic a lot, and that Bang one was a lot of fun, too. Bang is awesome. Bang was, that was cool. I just quit. Yeah, but Pandemic, pandemic is, I like Pandemic a lot, too. I definitely like Pandemic a lot, too. That's pandemic a good is, one. Pandemic is terrific, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Power Grid. I don't know that one. Ooh, Me neither. One. Did you play a lot of tabletop games, Steve? I tried to. Um, I'm a big fan of Pandemic. I've, I've played a lot of uh, Agricola a couple years ago. Would you believe Agricola. that that's pronounced Agricola? Yeah, I had no idea. I've, I've heard that. I think that's bullshit. And anybody who says it's Agricola can go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's actually a word in the dictionary. You can go click the pronunciation button at Merriam-Webster and find out how wrong you are. Agricola, Agricola, Agricola. And I was, it blew Doesn't my mean mind. That that's the name of the game. Right, true. The name is still Agricola. Right, exactly. Norlin? Um, I haven't played a ton. I think of the games I have played, Settlers of Catan is the oh, most good. fun I've had. I was afraid Settlers wasn't going to get any votes. Drewby, what about you? Did you already... Uh, no, I haven't. I, I've I've never played most of the games you guys have talked about. Um, oh my. I, but uh, sadly, I've never even heard of Bang till you guys were talking about it the other night. Um, and Norlin, we got to get together and play Settlers because I've never played to- that either. Totally. Oh, um, Settlers is good. That's fun. Um, yeah. I like. I do like Carcassonne. And uh, yeah, that's fun. I we we got my wife is into that, so actually I have somebody who wants to play that, so we try and play that a lot. And then. Um, uh, Cards Against Humanity is just so damn fun. I love that yeah, game. That looks like fun. I've never played it. Oh, we played it. I, that that's Cards the Against Humanity. Maybe that is that is a lot of fun. Although it gets yeah. a little awkward, you play it with your students. I played that. I played, <laughs> I played that. that my... I played that at work, and I was like, uh, uh well, no, no, let's keep going. Fuck it, let's you go. Probably not do that. <laughs> I played that with my parents but, and my fun. in-laws. Oh my god! I played it with my I wife's grandmother. I had to explain grandmother. what Bukake was to my. <laughs> <laughs> we played it with my wife's grandma, and and one and and the word uh, uh, kegels come up, and oh, Jesus. her her uh, all of them. She goes, "What is that?" And I look around at Jess and all her cousins and stuff. And I'm like, "I am not the one who's playing that." <laughs> <laughs> you, pussy, you. you pussy! All those questions, whenever they kind of come up, I always answer them. It's just because skin. it makes other people so uncomfortable. Oh, they answered from? it, and then she, then you know the the most awkward part was after they explained what it was to her. You could see if you looked at her, she was trying it. She was trying <laughs> to <laughs> and I'm like, oh god, this. I, oh. Okay, the question is, how many of them were looking at her like that? You were, but were they all looking at her, wondering if she was trying it? I I think they were because I pointed it out to a couple of them there later, and they're like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Drew's all like, yeah, look at grandma. Okay, oh, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I'm trying it now. Now, so are all, so are all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Right now. I'm not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be able to delay orgasm for so long, guys. Okay, next question. <laughs> 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 and 
I'm done. Uh, that sounded kind of <laughs> solid, man. I don't know. <laughs> I think I need a new keyboard. Next. Next question. Have you ever been told that you look like someone famous? No. My next okay. question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, um, aside from uh, Gilbert Godfried crossed with Jean-Luc Picard, no. No, yes, I, I was. When I was I was in Japan, someone thought I looked like Elijah Wood. It was the creepiest <laughs> fucking... <laughs> that is so far from the truth. I How? Like you, maybe you look like you ate Elijah Wood. Maybe, 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 <laughs> you know what? You know what? Maybe it was confusing them. You were a round guy who was about their height, which was, they are like... They're like <laughs> Well, I was even tall in Japan. It was awesome. <laughs> no, it was the weirdest thing. I don't. I have no clue why. The only reason that we could think is the blue eyes, but they thought I looked like Elijah Wood. I'm like, um, <laughs> my uh, feet aren't furry. <laughs> yeah, that's the dis- the one distinguishing difference. <laughs> my, well, my feet aren't furry. I'm, I'm often com- compared to cousin It. <laughs> I've I've gotten I've gotten both. Kevin Smith, because I'm a fat guy with a beard. <laughs> and yeah, I when I lost Smith. some weight, I got Russell Crowe around the time of Gladi- when Gladiator came out because I was a not quite as fat guy with a beard. You know what? I'd, <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd give you Kurt Russell. Because you've, you you've, you've got the twinkling eyes and the giant dimple. Well, yep. Thank you. You look like Kurt Russell. <laughs> and now I'm going to jerk off. Talk to you later. <laughs> I, I never get that I look like anybody famous, but I always seem to look like somebody that they know. Uh, you've got one of those faces, I guess. Yeah. You, you do look, look like, like my friend Carl. Carl. Uh, okay, say hi for me. I have okay. I, I, I had a girlfriend who thought I looked. She saw a picture of me from high school, and she thought I looked like John Cusack. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. John no, Cusack? Really? No, yes, really. John, <laughs> uh, John Cusack. Make fun of me, Elijah. <laughs> Well, this was high school. I was young and innocent, and I hadn't gained 500 you pounds. You still didn't and... look like John Cusack. I know, I know. <laughs> I uh, I was told that I looked like a young Conway Twitty. Ooh. <laughs> I, you know what? I'll give you that, too. Yep. <laughs> Congratulations. Next question. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, yay. Somebody told me I look like one of the local TV weathermen, and I I dispute that. But no that one doesn't else. Count. You know who you look like. You know who you look like, Drew. You don't. You're not going to want me to say this. <laughs> uh, fuck you. You've been burning me all night. So let her buck. Should, should I? Should I keep going here? You really want to hear this? Sure. You look precisely like an adult version of Prince Joffrey. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm looking up a picture of myself. You do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you gotta give me. You gotta give me that one. That's that's dead on. You know on. what? I, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you know gonna what? say you're wrong, but I am gonna say you're mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the picture. Because that kid is a douche. I'm looking yes, at the picture is. from Comic Con where I have the the three slave Leia's around me, and I'm like, "Yep, I see it." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a good picture, by the way. Yeah, it is. Thanks for taking it. <laughs> no problem. Well, do you do you treasure that one more or the one with the TARDIS? Uh, I'm happier in the one with the TARDIS. Actually, I think I'm happiest in the picture with the uh, Kermit the Frog, who's not really Kermit the Frog. I totally thought that was the guy who did Kermit the Frog, and here it's just okay. some... So, he likes the a... picture of him with some dude than the slave Leia's. Well, I mean, from... Gay. Uh, it was just, so, so, you're, so the guy w- who put the Kermit on your shoulder, he was just walking around the con with a Kermit puppet? and. Yep. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Well, it's more likely than the actual Kermit puppeteer being at Comic Con walking around with a couple Kermit puppet, I suppose. Yep. Okay, next question. <laughs> well, especially because Jim Henson is dead. Well, yes. The new guy. The new guy. <laughs> oh, the new one. Who's actually been doing him now for, you know, 10 some years. Yeah. I don't even remember what the question was there. But let's go to the next one. Jim Henson died on my birthday in 1991, so. He's, Way to go, he's jerk. doing it for a very long time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think Drew wrote this question, but uh, why does Drewby sound like the sexy one of the group? That is I, strange, isn't it? Yeah. Lots of post-processing. <laughs> <laughs> Drewby's got mm. the nicest microphone. <laughs> yes, he does. He spent the most on his microphone by far. 
It's an extension of my penis. <laughs> some people buy cars. Drew buys a microphone. I stick with what I know. What, do you attach it with like alligator clips? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> and now you know my fetish. <laughs> no, but really, Drew, why do you sound so sexy? Uh, I gargle with lemon juice before every performance. It's it's all that vocal training you had as a child when you were in the theater. Mm. I was I was big into uh, theater and singing back in high school. Oh, well, it's clearly carried through to modern times. Why, thank you. It's all really right. all I have, so thank you for not taking that away from me. <laughs> no problem. All right, next question. I get the feeling it's going to be a night of cutting myself tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That'll be the night after you hear the video for the first time. Here you go, Drew. Here's a layup for you. What uh, was your favorite Halloween costume and why? Ooh. Oh, God, that's tough, really. Really? It. I've done a lot of pretty crazy Halloween costumes. You've only won an award for one of them, though. That's not true. I won an award for three of them, oh, Dick. okay. Um, sorry, golly. Um, I, I won for um, when I, a friend of mine and I did Beaker and Bunsen from the Muppets. That's the one I was thinking of. And we won for the ambiguous AK duo. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> it was not I so ambiguous him. that night, oddly enough. It wasn't very difficult for them to do either. And we we drank a Didn't lot and got into it, and that's. <laughs> you were hold, on, hold, on. hold on. Can you repeat that? No, I can't. I kind of mumbled on purpose. There were alligator clips everywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you guys laying on actually... bar floors on top of each other? Mm, what was the no. other set of costumes? Or the other costume? Well, the third costume. Go. Oh. I can't. You know what? I, I, the other two that I did, I spent a hell of a lot of money on, but didn't win with, was the Buzz Lightyear one, where I learned how to use Bondo and fiberglass, um, oh, and then yeah. the uh, the big Diablo one that I I was going to do for BlizzCon, and then couldn't figure out how to ship the fucker out there, so I didn't bring it, and oh, I had spent like two grand on that son of a bitch, and it's oh, in my basement. What? You, you know what was, was my favorite costume I've seen you in? Hmm. <clears throat> It was the uh, the fat Sylvanus Windrunner that you got up on stage with at BlizzCon. That was so amazing. Wow. <laughs> <So good. laughs> I, I'm going to say probably one of the ones that I was most proud of. My It was when I was pretty little, and, and my mom always made really cool costumes for me, when and they were always because um, I'd think of weird shit. And the one I came up with was I wanted to be a head on a platter. So she made a big <laughs> cardboard table. She put a tablecloth on it, all these fake little plates and mash, fake mashed potatoes and stuff, and then a big um, like lid that went over my head in the middle, and then we'd get to the door, and then she'd take the lid off, and I'd be like, blah. You know, nowadays, I, f- I feel like you would do that costume differently if you did it now. You'd do it with the big, like, towering thing behind you that looks like somebody uh, holding your head on a platter. I maybe would. I've done a, the, a gorilla hold. It was a gorilla holding me, and I was a bloody torso. It was just <laughs> carrying around in front of it. I made that one year. Don't you have to lean forward all night when you do that? I did. <laughs> Sounds like a pain in the ass. Now I have chronic back pain, so that's not <laughs> <laughs> worth it. <laughs> yeah, last Anybody year, it? just to show how I've kind of tapered back, last year I just wore a black suit and put uh, shoe polish on my eyebrows and mustache and was Groucho Marx. So. I thought you were going to say Charlie Chaplin slash Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Next year. All right. Next question? I didn't well, have I a good seat. Is it, has anybody else uh, gotten into the Halloween spirit? It seems like something to be in Gay X Wheelhouse. <laughs> no, I, I work. I have a show in Halloween. Uh, I work at a haunted house, so I am way too busy being my character for that. Yeah, I'm not into Halloween at all. I just spend every night of that month at a haunted house working <laughs> in college. Yeah, it's not, that, it's no. not a big deal. I just, you know, just a full time job. I don't. I'm. I mean, I love it. It is so much fun working a big haunted house, but but I never get to party. I'm too busy freaking the shit out of people who are partying and half drunk. Which Do you is have awesome. that thing yet? Do you have the thing yet where you take the the picture of the people while they're scared? Um, we don't have a room that does it, but I was one of the, a couple of the nights running around with my camera at, at scare points and I have some good photos of people scared as shit. You should put those up on Facebook or something. I, I should. Uh, anyone else have any entertaining costumes? Not me. No. Nope. I, I haven't dressed up since I was about 10. You're lame. I dress up every time, but it's always the same thing. No, I have like three characters I play. What are they? Uh, I have a dude in a straight jacket. Um, I have, uh, oh, what's the other guy? I don't really have a name for that dude. He's just, uh, in, I have a big rubber mask. The thing's awesome. It looks like real skin, like those old man mask kind of things, but it's a guy that's half burnt. Um, um, 
And then uh, the other one, it's uh, in a war zone. He's just a camo with some wounds on him. I've seen pictures of you with zombie makeup on. Uh, depending on the night, that's uh, Scary Gary, actually, is my <laughs> great jacket dude. That's him. All right. Zombified. Next. If you could be any cart cartoon character, who would you be? Samurai Jack. Ooh, good one. And now that's taken, so I have to pick a different one. Uh, Johnny Bravo. <laughs> I would be Tetsuo from Akira. Because he turns into a giant uh, mass of human flesh and um, explodes. And you're already halfway there. I'm already halfway there. <laughs> God, I have no idea who I would be. Shit, I, I don't know. I Fred from Scooby-Doo, because you know he's, he's fucking the shit out of Daphne. Yeah. You sure he's not one of the other <laughs> Daphne, oh, Daphne and Velma at the same time. Oh, yeah, don't yeah. take this away from me. Fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Avatar The Last Airbender, so I think I would be Aang. Oh, he gets to go with Katara, too, so that's cool. That's yeah. true. Uh, she is a. Uh, you know who's even hotter, though? The new Avatar and the, <laughs> the new. Uh, Cora, God, she's cute. And she's a cartoon, so it's okay to say that. Isn't she like 12? It's okay to say that because she's a cartoon. No, she's older, though. She's not uh, She's not Aang age. Nobody else? No other cartoon characters? I, got, I can't think of a really great one. Man. I couldn't either. That's why I went with the one I did. Come on, you just go with Mighty Mouse and be done with it. There you go. <laughs> you know what? I'd probably be Mr. Incredible. So yeah. many jokes. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, no, 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 oh, no. Except he couldn't fly, so never mind. So oh, much. yeah, that's rough. He could jump. Yeah. Hey, Drew, I just found a bunch of pictures of us when we did that mask for you. I was just <laughs> looking for them, and I think yep, you have... they're right here. You have I'll send those to Mac. Send them oh. later. I don't want to waste bandwidth. <laughs> Next I question. When are you guys going to release the long-awaited double album of Oblivious Sings the Best of the 80s? Tomorrow. Next question. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be terrible. Yeah, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be the worst thing ever. Can you take me high enough? Can you take me high? That's the best hook in the worst song. <sighs> No, I seem to remember I, us talking about this, but there was an infomercial on in the late 90s all the time that had Bobby Brown, the chick from Warren Cherry Pie, and I would, we'd watch it, and then every time they'd go to like the little 30-second clip that they'd play in between when she was walking around being hot, it was always that. Damn Yankees, can you take me high enough? And I just... And then they'd, and then they'd then cut away done. when it got to the, the not-as-good part of the song. Yeah, that was the only part they'd play, and that, then they'd cut to another song. Yeah, the little, like, two-bar hook is amazing, and the rest of the song is so mediocre. Yep. And that's all we're going to talk about for 80s music, because all the rest of the 80s music is amazing. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> that's what I was going to go with. Totally all of it, yep. And we're not going to sing it, no. Sorry. Who well, amongst you... Well, you Corey, I might. In there. <laughs> Who amongst you makes the best lasagna? Me. I don't cook, so no. I just made lasagna today, actually. Wow. Well, it's jail then. Jail wins. <laughs> I guess it's Next jail. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who among you makes any lasagna at all? Oh, okay. I make, I make right. perfectly adequate lasagna, but I wouldn't say it's amazing. I haven't made yeah. lasagna in a long time. Does it count as making lasagna if I tell my wife to make it? <laughs> <laughs> Does it count yes. as it's making lasagna? Does it because as my wife makes lasagna amazing lasagna, eat? but... You know, I have to tell her to. <sighs> what I else you got there, Desso? If you suddenly found yourself turned into a woman, how would you spend your day? <laughs> Celebrating. <laughs> okay, don't answer. You know, if, if your answer is other than masturbating, go ahead. <laughs> no, I would. Well, I would uh, <laughs> next question. <laughs> I would, I, would, I would do what X said when, if he was invisible, and I would go to the gym. <laughs> And hang, well, that yeah, I would go to the gym. I would I would go around uh, hitting on men and then leading them on for years at a time until they fell in love with me and uh, and then break it off. That's what I would do. <laughs> oh, that's uh, yeah. 
So you you like penis is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I've been dri- I've been driven to cock. I'd say we're down to about two questions I've got on this list. All right. Besides the shitty ones. Well, the shitty ones might be funny too. Hear ye, hear ye! If you don't get, if you don't hear your question in this video, it's because it's shitty. <laughs> and if if you take issue with that, I'm the one that determined whether or not it was shitty. So, so just email deso at deso dot com with all your complaints. Yep. Will we ever be seeing games from others' perspectives? Well, that's something we've. Uh, well, first of all, we already have. Ruby's been playing some classics over there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sally Salon was riveting. Yeah. Every the, second uh, of my seat the, the entire time. The diaper time. dash one was way better, except it got a little. It like got a little. Um, got a little there. dark. It got a little it did dark. Get a little dark. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part about the Sally Salon video was how he was like trying to play it off, like he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> but he was being perfect. But he was so like, efficient honest. and perfect. Like, he knew exactly what was happening. Uh, he was, yeah. He was, no, I, you know, it's just a stupid little game. And oh, look at that, another million points. And uh, it's, you know, it's not, nothing special. And oh, look at that, one hundred percent efficiency. Yeah. Mm. I've hardly played, spent any time at all playing this. Uh, but yep. we, okay, so games from other people's perspectives is something we've actually talked about a little bit. Um, and uh, I'd love I'd love to do something where we hand out a copy of Halo and uh, and uh, play together and do like a split screen or something. But uh, I don't know. The logistics are tricky. You guys would have to learn how to record. Well, your most video. of the games we play, it doesn't matter who you're looking at, though. That's not yeah. true. I mean, uh, it's, it's true for Dota, I guess. Except that I well, no, it's not true at all. I think uh, I think even if it was Dota, you know, seeing other people's perspectives. Uh, would be kind of neat, but I think especially for something like Halo. I mean, people are used to seeing four-player split-screen Halo, and that'd just be kind of fun. I think it'd also be funny to see like everybody's perspective for something like Payday. Yeah, especially when Drew gets like way ahead of the group and. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby, yeah. where are you? Yeah, no, there's there's several games we could try that with. Or like uh, when I'm playing Payday and get three kills. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I would. I would. I would. I, 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 I would right? love to lift the veil on that one and figure out how the fuck <laughs> you managed that feat. That's incredible. You guys are getting 60, 70 kills. I got seven. <laughs> you <turn. sighs> I don't know. Nominate some games for uh, for us to play. Uh, some good, yeah, good multiplayer yeah, that would look good with different perspectives. Damn it, for sure. Like I can't think. I can't help but think about that scene in Men in Black. Where Will Smith just sits there with a gun and doesn't do anything, and then at the last second he fires off one shot and kills that little girl. What? I have no idea. I don't remember any little girls being killed. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you're you're talking about the the target practice scene. Yeah, Yeah. the target practice. Oh, yeah. Okay. And he he just sits there like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Then pop. Fires Jesus. off one shot, and it's this little like seven-year-old girl with a quantum <laughs> physics book. So it might only be one kill, but it's the most important kill. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, that's he, exactly what he did. Saved us all. Yeah, you, th- you threw us off with your with your description. <laughs> so he sat there and did nothing, and then he shot a little girl. What? <laughs> Are you not it's talking about bad boys? Ah. Uh, well, if I can personally nominate a game for Drew to play from his perspective, I'd really like to watch him play Dark Souls, just for the record. <laughs> yeah, we could have a Dark Souls race. We'd all have to buy Dark Souls, though. That's I don't even thing. know what the hell that is. It's one of the hardest games to come out in the last ten years. How much is it? I'm thinking that this would be a horrible game to watch us not be able to do. Yeah. Well. Dark yeah. Souls. Looking it up. Yeah, it's, there's a Prepare to Die edition on Steam now. Which I have, and it turns out I'm terrible at. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Wow, it must be dark. I have to put in my fucking birthday to look at it. Forty dollars. Yeah, I, we're, that's that's the other thing. The, the other consideration. We're all cheap as fuck, so we like to stick to free games or cheap games or games we already own. I'll play anything you sons of bitches buy me and send me on Steam. And I'm talking to the fan people. <laughs> right. Oh. Anybody who that's wants a good to way send to say us it. keys to we their game. We will play whatever you give us keys to. That's right. Yes. Oh, yes. If, if you buy us all copies of, of uh, what is that? We'll Demon's play the Souls? shit out of it. Whatever. We'll play the hell out of Demon's Souls. Yeah. 
All right. All right. How many questions left? Keep going. Come on. We're going to get Sally Salon keys, you know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> of them. Railroad tycoon. <laughs> oh, God. Railroad Tycoon sounds kind of fun. Anyway, not, not Tycoon. I was thinking of the simulators, like the Street Sweeper Simulator 2013. Ah, yes. Zamponies. Yeah. Well, on how ice. about this one? If your life was turned into a movie, what actor would play you? Charlton Heston. Probably like he's, the cross. He's pro- he's he's dead. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. I, I'm going to say probably like a cross between Gilbert Gottfried and Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what would that voice sound like? <laughs> Engage! <laughs> that is log! Uh, I think uh, I would have to take uh, Jack Black, I think would be an accurate representation of myself. Yeah. 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 Norlin? Uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Yeah, he's a chameleon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if he can be a young Bruce Willis, he can pull off your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he can probably pull off your front, too. So, Equoria. <laughs> Whatever that dude's name is in Hangover with the beard. Zach Galifianakis. Zach Galifianakis? There we go. Oh, I could that. see that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Can you spell it? Zach. <laughs> yeah, Z-A-C-K. <laughs> He's going to get that wrong, too. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> Z-A-Q. So, sound it out. <laughs> Z Z Z uh, Shell, who would play Act. you in a movie? <laughs> um, shit, I don't know. Uh, this is riveting. You haven't been thinking about it for the last forty-five seconds. I have, but I I don't know. You just can't think of anyone handsome enough. Is that it? Right. Yes. That's exactly. So Angelina you, Jolie, then. You, <laughs> 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 you know who would play you? Uh. Uh. Adam Savage, and then and then his brother would play your brother. Yeah, yeah. His brother? His brother looks has, exactly has like brother. Matt. Yeah. Aren't they brothers? Adam and Jamie? No, they're not brothers. Aren't they? No, Jamie Heineman and Adam Savage. Oh, I guess you have a point. <laughs> Did you just say Adam Savage? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. I had a toothpick, and it stabbed me in the chin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> so if you stab uh, yourself in the chin, you say savage? <laughs> yes, <laughs> apparently I do. Heineman Savage. I don't know why I thought well, it sounds alike, sure. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe it's his married name. Those Pro- name probably the reason I thought they were brothers is that uh they look kind of similar to Shale and his brother. Ah. I'm gonna defend well, myself that way. It's like a person who lives with their pet, they start to look the same. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't look anything like you. I was just thinking of Jamie Heineman looking like your brother. Yeah, yeah that's I say that. So who? So who looks like Shale? Um, I got nothing. Yeah, you're uh, right. You're you're, you're a hard Ron one to Perlman. Pay. Yes, Ron Perlman <laughs> Ron looks exactly Perlman. like Shale. <laughs> Shut up and okay, accept I'd, it. I'll go with that. No, that's fine. <laughs> There's, I would. I, I can yeah. see that. Yeah. 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 Now, you know. You know, Shale. They didn't say Jeremy, right? <laughs> Yes. Okay. I was going to say for me, Jeremy Sean Aston. Perlman? Yes. No. Really? You wouldn't go with uh, King Joffrey? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a little young to pull, young and thin to pull me off. But <laughs> Sam, was, you off? Sam Sam Geek. Yeah, you know, what? Shut up. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> you, you prefer the older, sicker guys? <laughs> 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 With hairy feet too. Seeking seeking one adult male to pull me off. <laughs> <laughs> the young and the thin need not apply. <laughs> <sighs> Leave, did you answer this already? I did not, but uh, I'm I'm thinking Kurt Russell sounds oh, pretty well, good to me. Naturally, yeah. <sighs> Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. What else have we got? Shit, you know, I... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, you know who would play Shale? I've got cool. it. Adam Baldwin. Is he the fat one or the drug-addled one? Adam no, Baldwin from fucking the Firefly. Fire from oh, Firefly. yeah, sorry. I was and, thinking one of the Baldwin brothers. Yeah, well, look, look at him in, in Firefly when he's got the goatee and everything, and to me, he looks like Shale. Yeah. 
The hero of Canton? Yes, the no, the yes. hero of uh, is it Canton? I think yeah. so. Yes. Yeah. Didn't they, I thought they renamed their town like Jane Town or something, didn't they? It's no. the hero of Canton. Come on. Yeah. Hero of Canton. Get it together, it, man. The man man this oh, is called man. Janestown or something like that, but I really have to get uh, that off of my list of shame for not watching. Oh but, Jesus, you haven't seen Firefly? 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 I haven't. You wow. it's, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. I do have it on DVD too. It's on Netflix. Turn it on now. You'll finish it by the time you have to go to work in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I've heard it's very good. I just haven't got around. To, I just finally watched The Wire, so you know I'm kind of catching up here. I have not I've yet watched it. The Wire. I, uh, I, I don't know what quick. that is. I have a hard time with The Wire. It, it's it, it, the whole filmed with a camcorder kind of feel to it. I just I don't know. It is pretty good. Yeah, it is very good. Everybody that uh, hyped it up for me, it lived up to the hype, so I was pleasantly surprised. It's, I'm, I'm kind of worried that I'm overhyping Archer for Mac. Seriously, dude, you need to watch Archer. I want to watch that, too. I haven't seen it yet. People That's, have been hyping Archer for years, so it better be good. That's I, what I'm I realized, in the middle of right now. I realized last week that with all the, the bullshit shows that I watch, if I if like if like my DVR broke for a week, <laughs> the only show I'd care that I missed was Archer. <laughs> well, that's, that says something. Oh, I'd miss Breaking Bad. I'm gonna miss Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. watch it. I I should, but that's the one I haven't seen yet. What's next, Esso? That's it, man. No, I know there's one more. Which one? How come we never see Desso? Oh yeah, where did Desso go? I suppose was on the list, but I removed it because <laughs> it was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now officially, yeah, it's a pretty fucking stupid question. Who the fuck are you to ask where Desso is? He's right here, you dumb fuck. <laughs> and with oh, that... That's kind of mean. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was awesome. Let's <laughs> end there. Quick. Good job. <laughs> have, we, have we not alienated all of our fans yet? All right, here, let me let me start from the beginning. Uh, Aardvark31, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know who's next. Aardvark32. Probably. <laughs> Aardvark32, you're an asshole. Okay, well, I guess if that's it, then uh, thanks for coming, guys. It was uh, a pleasure. Yep. If you say so. Well, you can go cry yourself to sleep. That's fine. Yeah. So, so what music are you going to use for this intro? Uh, sing something. If I knew how to sing 99, the hot air balloon song, I totally would. But, uh, <laughs> 99 hot air balloons? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't it's know in that. another language, you fuck. Oh. It's in English, too, there, Chief. Yeah. There's not, on the, not on the, like, 12-disc set I bought. How's that one go? <laughs> it's, it's a 12-disc set, and it doesn't feature the English version. <laughs> no. Well, how, how, no. How does that one go? Seriously, it's, it's, it's on the edge of my brain. What, the what 99 song? red balloons? The 99 balloons. 99 Nine balloons. Luft balloons. Yes. yes. <laughs> wow, that's really far from it. Now that I, I remember the song now. And <laughs> fuck, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. That's a little closer. There you go. Mac and go, suck a dick. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> yep, I just came. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>